Who are the mantis being, spirit, alien, or something else? Why are the mantids contacting and abducting people? <laughs> Do the mantis work for the greys or vice versa? Is it true that the mantis are involved in genetic manipulation of people? I'm sorry, what? Do any other races of aliens manipulate our genes? If so, which ones? <laughs> Is this genetic manipulation for the benefit of the human, humanity as a whole, or is it for benefit of the mantis, or some other reason? Is there any way to prevent abductions? <laughs> The mantis beings appear to have a hierarchy that is denoted by size and colour. Is this true or just a coincidence or does it mean something different? <laughs> Why do some of the mantis beings wear purple robes? Does this mean anything? Some abductees claim the mantis are taking them to other planets. Is this genuine or psychological projection? <laughs> Many contactees suffer health issues such as autoimmune conditions. Some researchers claim this is due to exposure to radiation from UAPs. Is this true or is there another reason? <laughs> Is 
There seems to be a strong correlation between PSI and contact experiences. Many claim they develop PSI abilities after contact. Why is this? What is the connection between health conditions and PSI abilities if there is a connection? Some mediums and psychics and others with PSI abilities also have autoimmune conditions and even neurological health problems. Some can be quite rare conditions. Why is this? Childhood trauma also seems to play a part with people who claim to be abducted or visited by aliens. Does the trauma facilitate contact with aliens or is this more complicated? <laughs> Are abductions due to a soul contract or plan created between lives? Are abductions increasing in number, decreasing, or staying the same right now? <laughs> Are there different factions in each race of aliens? Are some factions of the Greys and other races of aliens not hostile to humanity? I'm going to put it